Hello everyone and welcome to this new video about MLflow. In today's video we are going to talk about experiments in MLflow. Uh, an experiment in the machine learning context is basically the execution of a machine learning workflow. A machine learning workflow could be training a machine learning model on a particular data set using a, a specific set of parameters and configurations. So we can use MLflow to track all those parameters, configurations, and maybe artifacts that that workflow is generating. So as you can see in the screen, we have the, the code that is necessary to create an experiment in MLflow. The method is called create experiment, and it receives three arguments. The name of the experiment, the artifact location, the location to store run artifacts, and tags. Basically, an optional dictionary of string keys and values to set as the tags of the experiment. So this is basically additional information about the project or the experiment. Now, maybe the word artifact is new for you. Um, when we are talking about artifacts, we are talking about all the objects or files that are being generated when executing this machine learning workflow. So let's say that we are training a machine learning model. Uh, we are then, you know, evaluating the model. Well, this evaluation process generates probably images like confusion matrix, uh, precision recall curve, and so on. Uh, those files are outputs of, of the machine learning workflow, and we can store those um, artifacts using the MLflow API. So let's execute this code and see what happens. Python uh, 01, create experiment. Okay, now we can see here that MLflow has created this uh, folder called MLRuns, in which we can find uh, different folders, but the two more important are this and this one. Uh, this folder, uh, the zero, uh, I mean the name of this folder corresponds to the ID of the experiment. In this case, MLflow uses uh, the default experiment, which ID is zero. If we open this folder and look at the meta.yaml file, we can see the, the the name of this experiment is default. Now, if we look at this um, folder, we can see the the name of the experiment is testing MLflow, as we specified um, in the within the code testing MLflow one. We also can see the tags, right? Uh, we can see that there is something called EMB, the environment, uh, which is set to depth and the version, which is basically a number. So now MFlow also provides a user interfa interface that allows us to visualize all this information in a more graphical manner. So let's go to the command prompt and write ML MLflow UI. And this will open the MLflow uh, interface. So here we are. This is the, M the MLflow user interface. We can see two experiments, default and testing MLflow one. Uh, this is the one that we just created. Um, here we can see the experiment ID. And this number or this string corresponds to the name of the folder that we, we saw before, this one, right? So this is basically um, the section in which we are going to store all the runs of, of this experiment. Um, now, let's say that I want to create a new experiment. Um, for the purpose of this video, I have created a new uh, function here called create MLflow experiment. Basically, it's a wrapper of the method that we saw before. So let me talk about this function. This function will receive as a parameter uh, the experiment name, the artifact location, and tags. Um, then is going to use the method create experiment to create an experiment. This method will return the experiment ID. But if this experiment already exists, uh, it's going to draw an exception saying experiment experiment name already exists, and is going to try to retrieve the um, the ID of the experiment using the method get experiment by name. So we always return the experiment ID. So let's say that I want to use this function within the main code. I can use, I can do something like this. Um, from 
MLflow utils import create MLflow experiment yes and now let's say that experiment ID equals to uh, create MLflow experiment now we have experiment experiment name equals to uh, testing MLflow one um, artifact location testing MLflow one artifacts and the tags the same tags that we used before now let's print the experiment ID let's open a new command prompt here and let's run this code Python uh, 0 1 okay since this experiment already exists um, the function is going to uh, use the method get experiment by name to retrieve the experiment ID so as we can see here uh, basically um, the function is drawing this message experiment testing mlflow1 already exists and returning the experiment ID so let's say that we are interested in creating a new experiment let's say a new an experiment with a random name something like this and let's run the same code okay in this case um, we can see here that mlflow has created a new folder and the name corresponds to the ID of these experiments as you can see here now we can see the similar thing that we saw before uh, a meta.yaml file uh, in which we can see well meta information about the experiment a folder and a folder with the tags let's go to the user interface and visualize this uh, let's refresh this and here we can see the two experiments the default experiment that mlflow creates uh, testing mlflow 2 and testing mlflow 1 now in the next video uh, I'm going to show you how we can retreat these experiments using um, basically this method get experiment by name so let's say that we can retreat more information about uh, the experiments that we are specifying in the experiment name so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one